We are grateful to God for yet another beautiful and lovely day. And I pray that today will be a day of rejoicing for everyone who is listening to me in the name of Jesus. My name is Patrick Tolani. I'm a pastor with Christ Love Assembly, a parish of the Redeemed Christian Church of God in Oxford. As you know, we do reflect from the Open Heavens Daily Devotional written by Pastor E. Adeboye, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. The topic we are considering today is hearing well and is a question. The Bible passage is from the book of Proverbs, chapter 20 and verse 12. And it said, the hearing ear and the seeing eye, the Lord has made them both. And that's also the memory verse. I repeat it. Say the hearing hear and the seeing eye, the Lord has made them both. In today's teaching, our general overseer, Pastor Adeboe, draws on the account of the siege of Samaria by the Syrian army to emphasize the fact that seeing eyes and the hearing ears are both God's doing. In the book of John chapter 10, verse 27, Jesus said, My sheep hear my voice, and they follow me. Everyone who is born again and is walking worthy of the Lord is able to hear his voice. Now to hear the voice of the Lord does not just simply refer to a physical stimulation of a person's sense of hearing by sound. Instead, it refers to perceiving God's voice through the inner sense of hearing with an accompanying readiness or an intention to do that which God has said and which we have heard. Therefore, obedience positions us to hear his voice. Indeed, Jesus said, if any man would do his will, he shall know of the doctrine. So don't wait to know the entire word of God before you obey him. Obey him in the little you know, and he will open your ears to hear more since you have shown yourself to be faithful in the little you have heard. Let's take it further. In the book of Hebrews chapter 5 verse 14, the Bible says that matured Christians, as a matter of habit, have exercised their spiritual senses, including the spiritual sense of hearing, to differentiate between what is good and what is evil. Therefore, obeying the truth we have received is a spiritual exercise that sharpens our sense of hearing. Let us always remember that to obey is to hear Him well. So, my listeners, to wrap up this, begin to obey the little you know. Don't wait until you hear words of mystery. Don't wait until you hear words that are deep from the throne of grace before you start to obey. But just obey in simple things. And the words could also be words that come from men of God, from our pastors, charging us in the way of the Lord to do some very simple things. And it's in obeying those that the grace of God will be developed and sufficient for us to hear deeper things of God and be able to obey those things. So, start your obedience from little things and then God will reveal greater things to you that you'll be able to cope with and manage. Our prayer point, Father, keep my oppressors under perpetual harassment, oppression and torment 
of the oppressors so that they will abandon their satanic mission against me. Father, we thank you once again and we, we give you glory and praise unto you. We commit ourselves into your hands and we pray that, Lord, everything that divides us from hearing correctly, you'll be taken away, we will hear you better, and we will obey you in all areas of our lives. This we ask in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you.